Hi, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is the serratus anterior muscle. Okay, let's find serratus anterior. Here you are. Interesting muscle, very interesting muscle. Um, connects through to the scapula um, and much associated with the respiratory conditions as well. So, so let's start with the anatomy. Uh, it, fo it forms kind of the, the medial part of the chest wall. Um, and the, uh, sorry, the medial wall of the axilla, lateral part of the chest wall, and um, the it inserts into the scapula itself. Uh, in terms of the origin, there's interdigitations with the um, uh, external oblique muscle, and we can see that there are, it's it's a multipennate muscle. So there's there's several heads, uh, usually uh, somewhere between the upper five, six, or seven ribs, uh, all the way down. Uh, sort of, we can feel it just in front of latissimus dorsi muscle as well. Um, powerful squat muscle. If we think about what it does, if we look at the kind of anatomy, we can see that these 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 fibers all sort of focus their direction, uh, and as I said, inserts into the uh, to the out, outer surface, the upper border, um, medial scap ridge of the scapula. So it comes all the way under the scapula and it's important for retracting the scapula, uh, rotating, abducting the scapula and, and also protracting the scapula or sort of pulling it uh, backwards onto the chest wall. Uh, a muscle that obviously is associated when we, we study it with boxing, it's, it's really the boxing or the push-up muscle. So again, anyone that's coming in with, uh, with pain after boxing or after push-ups well worth looking at the uh, serratus anterior muscle. Also important in the kinematics of, of shoulder motion as well. Um, we see it uh, with, with mo many shoulder conditions that the serratus gets involved uh, because of its relationship with the scapula. Um, now, another thing that we can see is um, when we ask people to sort of push against a wall and hold their body weight is sometimes winging of the scapula. So it shares the, the long thoracic nerve along with sort of some of the rhomboid muscle. Uh, and we know that winging of the scapula can come from long thoracic nerve paralysis. Uh, there's sort of a, 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 a complete winging and a partial winging. Sometimes the rhomboids can also be involved as well. Um, so they call it a wing scapula because it kind of looks like an angel's wing and it sort of pops out backwards interestingly. Um, an extensive pain map, uh, usually uh, so the map follows, follows the, the muscles under the, the rib cage itself and there's a little uh, map of pain sometimes just in the sort of inferior part of the scapula. So actually what we might do here is have a look at it in an animation and what, this is one of the kind of advantages of an animation is that um, we haven't got the, the model static so we can see this extensive kind of serratus anterior pain map. Uh, as we said, uh, associated with chest pain, uh, also pain that doesn't get better with rest, sometimes associated with uh, breathing anomalies, dyspnea, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, um, asthma, uh, people that sort of overbreathe, hyperventilation syndrome, um, and also uh, sometimes associated with sensitivity in the breast. Some people um, look for trigger points in serratus anterior with breast sensitivity. Uh, pain on deep inspiration, deep breathing. So, so we can see that from the, from the anatomy itself, it has this kind of uh, sort of costal, sort of rib-based sort of uh, functionality as well. Uh, can be brought on trigger points by things like severe coughing attacks, emphysema, also as we said by overuse, uh, push-ups, punching, gym work, weightlifting, uh, and also sort of lifting heavy objects in general, uh, but people that aren't used to lifting heavy objects or having to hold and, and carry things for a long time. Um, and also anxiety, it's again one of those uh, muscles that we see uh, sometimes associated with anxiety. We get some trigger points there. Um, Complicated muscle to treat, you have to sort of run in between the ribs. We, there are, are, of course, many ways of treating it, but as it goes uh, backwards around the sort of speck of the scapula under latissimus dorsi, it's quite hard to reach those fibers, but certainly the, the interdigitations with the, with the with, um, external oblique and some of those ribs there, we can get to those quite nicely. And, and even, there are even some needling techniques which are, are quite effective as well. So. Serratus anterior, boxing muscle, winging scapula, um, trigger points associated with chest pain, look at it for breathing dysfunctions 
and uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I really look forward to seeing you again next week when we'll be exploring another trigger point of the week. Thanks.